All right, all you custom Gundam fighters out there, welcome back to the Yendi Radio Arcade. And you know what, Maestro? I agree with you what you said during the break. We should have used that line for the intro so people didn't know what game we were going to review for this week. But with the cat already out of the bag, I think it's time for us to go into another edition of the Instant Classic Video Game Review. And the game we have up on the plate to celebrate this milestone edition of the show is none other than a Nintendo DS classic known as Custom Robo Arena. And the meat and potatoes of this said game is that you play as, insert name here, who goes to a new town where his father goes to work at a company called Neobrain, a part of the town known as Midheart, where you would join up with a team known as Numero Uno, who would all try to fight their way up the ranks to become the Numero Uno team of the Custom Robo Arena League. And that's the best meat and potatoes we can get from this story, from this game. And with that story out of the way, what do we like about this game? Well, for starters, the endless amount of customizations you can do to your robo in this game is absolutely outrageous and also absolutely cool. And a prime example of that, folks, not only you get a chance to actually use such crazy weapons such as railguns, shotguns, automatics, guns that even shoots bees, and I do believe a gun that shoots a nuclear bomb or a bomb with a skull and crossbones that can cover an area of effect or do splash damage, as I was told a multitude of times from the maestro prior for us starting off this part of the show. Which I should have listened, but, you know, you know, calling it a neutron bomb or a nuclear bomb that goes off sounds cooler to me. I don't know why. Another thing that we liked about this game had to have been the soundtrack included for this said game as well. With all sorts of different music that reminds me of something that would have been played during an episode of Gundam, or at least during one of those Saturday morning cartoons for the SWAT cats. Yeah, that's exactly what it reminds me of, too. And the last but not least thing that I liked about this game, even though a lot of people who played this game admitted saying that they didn't like it, had to have been the story for this game. And the reason why in the world I liked it so much, not only because it involved your dad moving to a brand new town, getting in a whole bunch of crazy shenanigans, but it also involves you slowly but surely becoming a police officer, a part of this town. Nice! <laughs> and with everything that we liked about this game, what didn't we like about it? Well, one thing I can say right off the bat, the fact that you can only fight against one opponent in the multiplayer mode and can't do a four-way battle with all your friends, was one thing that really did disappoint me about this game. And another thing that I didn't like about this game has to be the fact that it's been well over 13 years since they released another custom robo game. That's the major thing that I didn't like about this, that this would be the last installment of the Custom Robo series. Because I would have really loved to see another one, either that or a remake of the classic Custom Robo for the N64 made on the Switch or for the Wii or at least for the Wii U when it was out. And with everything that I liked and didn't like about this game, what do I think they could do to improve upon it? Well, besides giving you a chance to create your own custom stages with environmental hazards, besides the one with lava in it, the other one with acid, here's hoping in the near future they give you a chance to battle against four of your friends in some big giant oversized melee arena battle of craziness and also along with that another custom robo game down the line at least an hd release of this game for the switch or at least the custom robo 64 installment for this game because yeah i really do think it's time for us to have yet another classic custom robo game along with all of the other games they've released for nintendo for the past couple of years 
And seeing the fact that we don't know how to review games along the lines of gold stars, coins, letters, or bricks, we review games in only two ways, folks. Will there be a video game story in the near future for this game? And do we recommend this game for you, the custom Gundam fighting fan at home? And seeing the fact that we already did a video game story for this game almost 100 episodes ago. Wow, I can't believe I just said that out loud. Yeah, I got a feeling the next big milestone we hit, most likely 330, maybe 340, we will have a custom robo video game story in the works for this game that will involve us using a Blitzkrieg robot with a shotgun and a railgun. How will that work? We'll find out when we get to that video game story. And do we recommend this video game for you, the custom Robo Gundam fighting fan at home? Well, if you want to play a game that involves you taking care of a tiny Gundam that has endless custom parts, all while you try to make new friends in a brand new town that you just decided to move into by taking on the whole entire town in something that they're better at than you for only a limited time only until you learn the ropes and make your way to the top of the custom Robo Arena ladders. That would have probably made for a good Saturday morning cartoon that I got a feeling that may have been picked up by Fox Kids somewhere in the late 2000s if it was still on the air with Saturday morning cartoons, but nevertheless, then I recommend you go out there and cop that disc. Or little miniature cartridge. I forgot, it's not a disc, it's a cartridge. Thank you, Maestro. <laughs> And I guess with that said, folks, we might as well head back into the music once again. And when we return, we'll be back with another edition of the Indie Wall of Fame right after a word from our sponsors. So don't run out of continues just yet, folks. And stay tuned. 